Hey, I'm Casey Lyons, Deputy Editor here at Backpacker, and today I'm going to show you the best way to pack your pack. So there's two major principles to keep in mind when you're packing. The first is comfort, and the second is convenience. By comfort, I mean you want to pack stuff in such a way that makes it easy to carry, and by convenience, I mean you want to pack stuff in such a way that makes it easy to get to. So, the first thing we want to put in is our sleeping bag. We want to put that in the very bottom of the pack because it's going to raise all the heavier items up, and also you don't need to get to your sleeping bag more than once a day. This pack has a sleeping bag compartment. We're going to just make use of it here. And I put my sleeping bag in a waterproof compression sack to make it small and make it waterproof. OK, we've got that in. The second thing we want to go for is our pad. Um, again, this is not an item that you need regularly. So you want to put that right down in the bottom next to your sleeping bag. Now we're going to start looking at heavier things that we're going to try to get near the middle of our back, uh, such as a tent or, in this case, a hammock shelter. I'm going to put that right in, trying to keep it centered between the shoulder blades. After that, we're going to go for our apparel. Um, this is your undies, your base layers, socks, that sort of thing. Get that down there nice and low. Now our cook kit, we want to try to make as dense as possible. Uh, so in this case, we can just fit the gas canister and the stove. And make one nice, uh, dense little package. Put this in, and this is also stuff that goes in the mid-back. Mid Let's see, next we want to get to our heavy and bulky item, which is our food bag. This we want just right up between the shoulder blades. Uh, that also makes it convenient if you want to get a snack at any time. My puffy I always put next and towards the top. Um, in nice weather, I will not put it in any kind of dry bag, but in wet weather, I will. Uh, the idea is to keep that handy so when you're taking a break, you can keep a layer on and you won't get chilled. That's it for the main compartment. So next we're going to pack the top lid. This is items that you want to have handy at all times. So this is most of your 10 essentials. I've got my med kit, a knife with a survival whistle, always important, a headlamp for sure, maps, compass, other navigational stuff you want up here, and a hat, which I find is a layer that you're using on and off almost all the time. Get that nice and shut. Uh, finally, on the outside, we're going to put our rain jacket, uh, shove it pocket is a great spot for that. Keeps it separate from the other gear and won't let your stuff, uh, you won't, your rain jacket won't make your other stuff wet. Um, I've also got my water filter packed in the back here. And finally, I have my water bottle, which I want to keep handy on the side in the purpose built pocket. So I've got a bag that is pretty well packed here. You'll notice I have nothing on the outside. Uh, you definitely want to keep stuff off the outside or else it might fall off, but Mostly if you have items swinging out there, it's just going to work against your natural momentum. Um, so you want to make sure everything is kind of locked down and pull the compression straps tight and you have a nice clean pack job that's going to be comfortable to carry all day.